Welcome to Radware DDoS Attack Mitigation Demo. In this demo, we will demonstrate how network and application level attacks are mitigated by Radware's hybrid attack mitigation solution, which includes Radware's on-premise DDoS protection device and Radware's hybrid cloud DDoS protection service. Radware's Hybrid Cloud DDoS Protection Service is part of Radware's Cloud DDoS Protection Services, which offer a full range of enterprise-grade DDoS protection services in the cloud that are easily deployed to help organizations assure the SLA of their data centers and applications. While this demo shows Radware's Hybrid Cloud DDoS Protection Service, Radware also offers always-on and on-demand Cloud DDoS Protection Services. With Radware's always-on Cloud DDoS Protection Service, all the organization's traffic is routed through Radware's network of cloud centers, keeping the organization fully protected at all times with minimal need for customer involvement. Radware's on-demand Cloud DDoS Protection Service protects against internet pipe saturation caused by cyber attacks. In this case, traffic is diverted to Radware's cloud centers only when a volumetric DDoS attack is detected. All of Radware's Cloud DDoS protection services are powered by globally dispersed scrubbing centers delivering over 2 terabits per second mitigation capacity. The services are based on Radware's unmatched DDoS protection, including patented network behavioral analysis and real-time signature creation technologies that provide the highest accuracy, real-time detection, and mitigation. The services also include fully managed offering and a customer-facing portal, which allows end-to-end -end tracking, visualization, and control over the protected assets. In the demo, we will launch an attack, detect it, watch as the traffic is automatically diverted for mitigation in the scrubbing center, and then run a post-attack report. We will launch a volumetric, multi-vector denial-of-service attack in an attempt to saturate the protected network's internet pipe. Our network is protected by an on-premise Defense Pro device for always-on real-time detection and mitigation integrated with Radware's hybrid cloud DDoS protection service with cloud scrubbing to address volumetric attacks. When an attack is launched, it is detected and blocked at the perimeter in real-time by Radware's on-premise Defense Pro device. Defense Pro communicates with the Cloud DDoS Protection Service to sync security policies, traffic baselines, and attack footprint. When the attack grows volumetric and threatens to saturate the internet pipe, traffic is diverted to the scrubbing center, where it is scrubbed clean, sending only legitimate traffic to the protected network over a GRE tunnel. Diversion can happen either automatically, per Radware's emergency response team judgment, or manually initiated by the customer, depending on the preference. Let's take a quick tour of the Cloud DDoS Protection Service Portal. We're now looking at the dashboard of Radware's web-based customer-facing portal. The portal lets you interact with the service. You can configure, monitor, and analyze attack traffic, attack vectors, top attack sources, security status, operational aspects of the service, and more. You can use multiple dashboards as well as change the outline of the dashboard widgets, their size, location, and more. The dashboard shows real-time data in customizable widgets. Using the drop-down list on the top left, you can select specific accounts and assets to focus the presented data on the relevant assets. Now we're looking at the protected network that we're going to attack, 185.144.91. You can see that the widgets are instantly updated to show only that asset's data. For now, let's switch back to all of our assets. Each widget is customizable and provides various filters and viewing modes. Let's say we want to view the traffic by packets per second as opposed to bits per second. And let's adjust the Top Attack Vectors widget to show only our protected network, while the rest of the widgets show only our target for the attack. To add more widgets, click the plus button. Select the widgets you want and click Add. You can also use the Global Time Filter to adjust the last view to narrow down your visualized data. Moving on to the Admin Settings, which includes three tabs. The first tab is Account Settings, which shows the account details, protection plan, and the predefined pipe saturation thresholds that, when crossed, can automatically trigger traffic diversions to the scrubbing center. The second tab is Site Settings, which displays the configuration properties of the on-premise Defense Pro devices, GRE tunnels, and Defense Flow. 
The third and final tab displays asset settings, which include the protected networks and their properties. Now it's time to start the attack. We're going to launch UDP and ICMP flood attacks using HPing3, which is a network tool that is able to send custom high volume packets to a specific target network. We've configured HPing to flood the network by sending as many packets as possible, regardless of replies. While the attack is being launched directly at the protected network, let's take a look at the BGP route using the Looking Glass service. From a Chicago based router, we can see in the first red line the shortest route to our protected network. Now remember this will change to Radware Scrubbing Center ASN once we divert the traffic. Let's go back to our portal and see what's happening. We can see that the attack status has changed to under attack, no diversion. This means that our network infrastructure is under attack and the traffic is still routed regularly. Because we have Defense Pro on-premise, we can mitigate the attack at the perimeter and avoid diverting the traffic unless there is a risk of pipe saturation. We can see that there is a new security alert for an ongoing attack. The attack is targeting our protected network, and the attack vector is a UDP flood. We can also see that there is an operational alert for critical pipe saturation. If you see this alert and a corresponding security alert for an ongoing attack, like we just saw, and you have automatic diversion enabled, it means the scrubbing center is already preparing for diverting, absorbing, and mitigating the traffic. In addition, Radware's Cloud DDoS Scrubbing Center is now syncing the security policy and baselines from the on-premise Defense Pro to the Defense Pro devices in the scrubbing center using defense messaging. This ensures the cloud service can mitigate immediately once diversion takes place. The diversion has now been activated. Radware's Cloud DDoS Protection Service is announcing the Scrubbing Center ASN has the shortest route to the protected network. Let's go back to Looking Glass and see the new route from the Chicago router to the protected network. We can see that the new advertised route goes directly to Radware Scrubbing Center Autonomous System. As we return to the portal, we can see that the Ingress Scrubbing Center traffic is increasing. Our security alerts widget is showing us new security alerts for the ongoing attacks, and that's okay because even if the attack grows, whether in volume or in vectors, Radware Scrubbing Center will ensure infrastructure availability and maximum uptime. The GRE tunnels are also up and stable, and the entire operation is managed by our battle-proven emergency response team, ERT, which ensures that only clean, legitimate traffic is routed to the protected network. The attack has now ceased and the traffic will remain diverted for a cooldown period in case a secondary attack is launched. Now that the attack is over, we can go to the Reports tab to customize, generate, and export reports. For this example, let's choose one day back and leave the remaining filters as they are. After clicking Run Report, you can view the results, export, or save as a template for scheduled reporting to be automatically sent to your email. This concludes our hybrid DDoS attack demo. We've demonstrated how Radware's hybrid attack mitigation solution, including Radware's Defense Pro and Hybrid Cloud DDoS Protection Service, provides unmatched security protection, automatically managing through the attack lifecycle, from detection to diversion, mitigation, attack termination, and reporting, ensuring the network is protected at all times and legitimate traffic is not impacted. For more details, please visit radware.com. Thank you for watching this video.